Welcome to Tokon. Tokon is a revolutionary new slave control system from Excite that uses intuitive HUD-based controls to make controlling a slave easy and fun. This video tutorial will show you how to use the positioning capabilities accessible from both the slave and the owner HUDs. The positioning system is an interactive way of constructing different poses for a slave's body. As you'll see, this system is far better than standard preset animations, which cannot be changed. Let's dive right in and take a look at the slave's HUD. The positioning system is located right on the home page by clicking this button that says Positioner. This takes us to the positioning screen, where I can see a human body. If you are using the slave HUD, the gender of the body will match what you have set your gender to be. And if you're using the owner HUD, the body will match the sex of the slave you have targeted. Let's press the page down key. Notice the slave drops to his knees. Further presses to this arrow expose different positions, all the way down until he's flat on the ground. Now that he's down there, let's play with the other body parts. There are five different groupings of body parts. The waist, which we just saw, the head, the torso, the arms, and the legs. I'll click the legs, and then click the arrows to move them around. Notice that there are a variety of positions, and the same goes for the arms, torso, and head. The waist is the most important body part, because it dictates the overall vertical position, whether the slave is standing, kneeling, or lying down. From there, I can arrange the rest of the body to my liking. Let's say I really like this pose that I have the slave in right now. I can save it if I want to by clicking this button called Save Position. When I hit the button, notice that a list appears on the right side of the screen and a new position is listed there and it's asking me to assign a name to it. I'll type in the name Demo. This list comes preset with many popular positions which I can flip through using the arrows down here under the list. To activate any of the positions, I just have to left click on it and the slave immediately goes to that position. I can return to the position I made before by clicking Demo. I can hide this list by clicking Retract and get it back by hitting Saved Positions. I can also place any of these positions on a hot button by clicking and holding the hot button and then selecting a position to put on it. Let's take a look at my indicator bar here. Notice that I've got a new icon there which matches the icon for the positioner button on the home page. This icon appears whenever I'm in a position. Next to it is that red stop sign which tells me I've been frozen in place. The reason I can't move right now is that I've still got a body part selected. And when a body part is selected, the arrow keys on my keyboard will flip through the positions for that body part, rather than move me around. This is a fast and easy way to flip through all the positions for a body part. As it turns out, I don't actually need to use the HUD at all, or even be looking at the positioner screen. There are gestures which provide keyboard shortcuts to activate body parts. By default, they are F2 through F5, and they can activate my head, torso, arms, and legs. I don't need a function key to adjust my vertical position because I use page up and page down at any time to move through the vertical positions. The positioner remembers the lost configuration of limbs at each vertical position. Let's go into Nadu, a popular pose. Now I'll tap page up a few times to stand up. If I hit page down now a few times, it remembers I was in Nadu last time I was in this vertical pose and goes right back into it. So getting into Nadu is two taps on the page down key. Getting up again is just two taps on the page up key. The positioner system is tied right into our avatar control system. The minute I go into a pose, my AO will shut off automatically. If I'm in a kneeling pose and try to move, I'll go immediately into a crawl. If I go down further by hitting page down until I'm on the ground, I can't move at all since I'm lying down. You see the stop indicator? All of this is automatic. The positioner system isn't just a great way to make unique poses. It's tightly integrated with the entire Tokon system to make getting into positions and moving around feel easy, intuitive, seamless, and completely authentic. Let's look at a short example. I'm going to minimize the HUD to prove that we don't even need to look at it. 
Now I'm going to tap page down a few times to get into Nadu. I'll crawl over to where my owner might be. And then I'll hit F4 to turn on positioning of my arms. And then use the up arrow key to appear to offer a bowl or drink. Tapping down, my arms go right back to Nadu. I'll hit F4 to turn off adjustment of my arms. And now I'll hit page down a few times until I'm lying down. I'll hit F3 to adjust my torso and use the up and down arrow keys to do a few sit-ups. A little creativity can go a long way to having some serious fun with this system. One additional feature of the positioning system is the ability to change the avatar's vertical offset. Have you ever gotten animations only to find out that when they make you kneel you're floating off the ground or your legs and feet are buried? Let's take a look at my avatar here. Yep, my avatar is floating off the ground. I'm going to stay in this position and bounce back out to the home page and then go into my general settings. The fourth line here is called position adjustment and watch what happens if I take it down a notch. There we go, now I'm closer to the ground. The positioning system has five different vertical adjustment levels to accommodate a range of avatar sizes. Let's talk about the positioner from the point of view of the owner. Owners have to target a slave first, of course, and then if they're near the slave, they can use the positioning system. We're looking at the professional owner's HUD here, but the interface is exactly the same for the freeware HUD. The slave is already targeted in our example here, so let's go ahead and press the positioner button from the home page. This page looks almost identical to the one on the slave HUD. I can use the same buttons, except this time rather than affecting my avatar's body, I'm affecting the slave. I've got my own list of positions here, and these are stored in my HUD, so I don't have to worry about whether the slave I've targeted has my favorite positions or animations installed. This system can be particularly fun for an owner. Imagine having a slave down on the ground and being able to actually yank their legs farther apart. Or imagine a bad slave is in a kneeling position and yanking their head and torso back as though you were grabbing their hair and pulling. These things are now possible. There are two important differences between the owner's interface and the slave's. The owner's interface does not use the arrow keys and the page up and down keys and the function keys do not automatically affect body parts. The owner is always meant to be free to move around, so we don't take away the movement keys. The owner uses the interface on the HUD. The other important difference is this little lock up here in the title bar. Right now the symbol shows as unlocked, but if I click on it, it switches to a locked state. Now I can still change the slave's position, but the slave cannot. They can't change their position, they can't fire off an animation, they can't even get up. You can keep them on all fours and crawling, or roleplay that you've tied them spread eagle to the floor and make it that much more real. Just don't forget to unlock it when you're done. The positioning system is unique to Tokon. It makes moving into positions fun and easy for a slave, and gives owners greater control than they've ever had before over a slave's body. It's also incredibly flexible, with over 20,000 different possible positions. Hopefully, this tutorial has allowed you to gain a better understanding of the positioning system in Tokon. With a bit of practice, you can do some amazing things and have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching, and be sure to check out our other tutorials to help you learn the rest of the Tokon system.